Welcome back to A Link to the Past. Hello everybody. My name is Justin and with me is Lindsay. <laughs> That's as far as I can really go. What's up everybody? My name is Justin. <laughs> and like he just said, I'm Lindsay. And so this time in A Link to the Past, well, last time, we got through the East Palace. This time, we are going to go through... We're going to get to the very next dungeon. And probably get through it also. It's... There's, like, not much to do in uh, between now and the next dungeon. But what I am doing, since we have the Pegasus Boots, there's a, uh... A piece of heart we can get uh, right here next to the sanctuary. This sanctuary is just right over yonder. Uh, this uh, this boulder here can be smashed with the Pegasus boots. And there's heart piece number seven. No, yes, number seven. Yep, because each heart has four pieces to it. Yeah. Except for in Twilight Princess, where it's five. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna head to Kakariko Village just to go south of it. You remember where that maze race was? You're gonna go see that guy again? No. Not, not really. No. There's a, a building right here. The library, the the House of Books, as Sahasrala or somebody. No, it wasn't Sahasrala. So, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll remember who. Uh, who told us, and I'll put it on screen. Right here we have the Book of Medora. Which is how we actually have to use this book to get into the Desert Palace. You can't, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Did you just headbutt a tree? Well, I smashed into something, I don't know, I can't remember if it was a tree. Uh, future me will also put up what it was I ran into. Wait, an arrow hit the tree like two seconds after you. It, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Oh. Okay, okay, let's not hug the cactus. <laughs> no, let's not headbutt it either. And here. See, there's, it's a language we cannot read, unless we use the Book of Medora. To open the way, to open the way to go forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. Now, here we are in the Desert Palace. There are a few uh, useless rooms in this uh, dungeon. I'll try not to go into them. Yikes, quicksand. Yeah, that's. Yeah, 
they will they basically just hurt me or the creatures inside will just hurt me these levers won't leave me alone <laughs> There's another Igor. Or two Igors. Yeah, while editing the last episode, I did look up what what these creatures are called and No, it is not. There's a key here. And that is a... Uh... I don't... I... I don't know what... <laughs> I, I... For, for, for me being a Zelda fan, I do tend to forget... Uh, the names of uh, enemies and traps are. So... I'm gonna have a heyday when editing this episode. We do not have the big key yet, so. Oh, was that just the medium one? What? The key you picked up. Uh, a small one. through this way yet. Yeah, this, this dungeon is a bit confusing for me because I just... It's been a while since I've been here in my practice run. Alright, here's where the small uh, key goes. I just got or yeah the compass oh. aha here's the big key um let's see yeah up here is a useless room I'd be more help I'm watching this. So, yeah. Okay, and we have the power gloves. I love the power glove. It's so bad. <laughs> you know, the Nintendo I tried to market a, a literal power glove. Which you can control the game with just a glove. No, no, no one remembers it. I'm. I feel old. Oh, you mean like being overpowered, like the one meme where the guys like literally going up against cords, dancing around in the underwear? That one. No. I should have grabbed one of those uh, fairies and put it in a bottle, but oh well. I still have one fairy. Now, before I... In order to continue in the dungeon, I have to go up this way. Before I do that, come down here and yeah, push that buzzard out of the way. But here, a uh, heart piece number eight, giving us another heart container. Good timing to you were down a heart. Yeah. But it was only down one heart. 
Yeah. Okay. Now we're in the second half of the dungeon. Um. Ah, floor traps. Gotta get out of here quickly. So that basically spit pieces of himself that you have lovely. Yeah. torches actually do anything. I'll, uh... There we go. Try lighting them real quick. Nope, doesn't look like they do anything. More floor traps. But we light the torches, and the wall gets pushed back. have their own health, and luckily, uh, each one, or when you destroy them with all down to just one, all damage is still retained, and you don't have to start all over. That's nice. It would stink if you did. Yeah. But also, when they, when they come out of the ground, they do fire rocks in a diagonal, uh, a diagonally. They do have to be careful. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's one down. Oh, but when you do get down to just the one left. It'll, it'll, it does get harder because it'll, it'll throw more rocks out. Let's see. And there we go. I actually expected to die. you uh, are playing the Game Boy Advance version, this is actually the Pendant of Wisdom. minutes for for this video but I guess that'll be it where do we go next uh, uh, find out next time my name is Justin and I'm Lindsay and this 
Ultra wants to ruin my, my outro. Have a good day. <laughs>